Hey everyone, it's Ali Lindley here from One Number, and today we're going to take a look at how to publish your dashboard to Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud. So there are a couple of things to think about, and I'll be sure to flag those as we go. Uh, if you want to download this dashboard and follow along, you're welcome to. It's in the description below. Otherwise, uh, have fun uploading your own. So one thing to note about this dashboard is that we're connected to a Google Sheets data source, right? So I felt like, hey, making sure that we're connected to some kind of cloud-based data source could help us with a couple of things. So you notice we basically have two dashboards. Dashboard one is kind of like at a more overall, uh, you know, countrywide level. And dashboard two, we're kind of drilling down to see some cities and, uh, you know, products and the same sales and customer info. Uh, but the idea is that in dashboard one, if we go into pre uh, presenting, you know, we click on Texas, we're now drilling down to just see some data and information for Texas. Okay, that's the idea. That's what we're going for. So let's publish this. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is make sure that I am signed in to my Tableau server. So you can see I'm signed into our one number uh, server and we're good to go. If you're not, make sure to sign in and go for it. And then I'm going to select publish workbook. Okay. Let's go. Right. Now let's walk through this menu and I'll give you a couple of things to think about. So the first is you can select your location. If you have multiple folders on your Tableau server, make sure that you're super clear about which one you want this to go into. The default is fine for me. Then name, let's make sure that this is super clear. I think a big issue can happen when we have our own like private naming conventions for dashboards, but we're uploading them to a shared space. That can be kind of frustrating or when we're using lots of like initials and acronyms and things like that with our dashboards that might not be super clear to everyone else. So I would just make sure that everyone knows what's going on and we can see, okay, cool. This is what's happening. In our description, I would include any things that would help us understand this dashboard that uh, might save us a little bit of time. So maybe we can say uh, Google Sheets, uh, data source, any other comments you wanna make about the data, you can put that in here. Um, anything, any permissions that we might need or you know anything that you wanna flag, we could throw that in here too. What about some tags? Tags make your dashboard easily searchable on server or cloud. So for instance, if you've got a whole bunch of data, dashboards, uh, worksheets, data sources, all saved to Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud, adding a tag like, uh, let's think about ours, sales, and let's add that, can make it super easy to resurface this dashboard at a later stage without trying to remember the exact thing that you called it. Now under Sheets, we can either just publish the two dashboards or we can publish all the sheets connected to those dashboards. So I think for our case, why don't we just publish the dashboards and we'll talk through what that might look, might look like. Mm. I'm thinking, let me show you one more option actually, and then we'll kind of come back and talk through just publishing the dashboards, that's fine. Uh, the reason why I wanted to just select the sheets now is I wanna pop down to this little more options quickly. Just to say, if we check show sheets as tabs, what that's gonna mean is when you load up the dashboard on ta Tableau Cloud, you're gonna see each of those worksheets as a tab. You know, it kind of looks like a Safari tab, a Google Chrome tab uh, at the top, and you can navigate through the dashboard and the sheets just by clicking on those tabs. Maybe that's not the experience you want your end users to have. That, that could be the case. Maybe it is. So if you don't, then we would uncheck this. Now this show selections option, show selections means when you publish the dashboard and we have, you know, for instance, we've selected a subcategory here that's filtered this dashboard. We've selected a state like Texas, it's filtered the dashboard. I want those selections sort of preloaded or preserved for when I load this uh, dashboard onto Tableau Cloud or Tableau Server. That could be the case. Uh, if I want that, I check show selections. So show sheets as tabs would need us to select all the sheets, but I'm only gonna select the dashboards. So let's see how this goes. Okay, then we're kind of going back up to permissions. The owner of the dashboard can share the, can set these permissions. And so you can do that for any of your groups that you have on Tableau Server. 
and make sure that you're kind of protecting who gets to view what. Lastly, we can take a look at our data source over here. So I only have one data source, so it's not super, super complicated. Yours might look a little bit more uh, complicated over here, but I wanted to show you this little uh, publish type and, uh, oops, publish type and the authentication that's gonna go on here. So if we don't embed this in the workbook what and we select publish separately what it's going to do is basically convert our data source into a tableau published data source which has some ramifications downstream for editing and working with this this dashboard so i would say if you don't have to publish your data source separately don't do it rather embed the credentials in the workbook and then it probably if you're working from a server you're going to need to uh you know authenticate that you, that you actually have access to that, that um, data source at some point. By default, Tableau is going to prompt you every time you open the dashboard. I'll show you a way to make sure that you don't have to do that every single time. We can embed the credentials uh, or encrypt those uh, login details onto Tableau Cloud. But for the moment, we're just going to say prompt user. That's fine. Embedded password also means that we can embed a password into our dashboard, which can help us access it at a later stage, but we're going to go with prompt. Okay. And finally, this little workbook optimizer, what does that do? It just opens up a menu that kind of flags any things that might not be best practice for making sure this thing's running as fast or as smoothly as possible. So we passed 13 out of 16. Whew, let's double check. So the first one that we should definitely take action on is that our dashboards uh, oh, our Google Sheets data source contains eight fields not being used. So Tableau wants us to just hide these, you know, like let's not include them in the dashboard, but whatever, that's fine. Two that need review, our dashboard size isn't fixed. We've got live data connections. Again, it's going to slow things down a little bit, but it's okay for us. So if we're happy with all of these and we don't want to change any of them, we're just going to go ahead and publish that. Right, here we are. So everything's uploaded and this is what it looks like on Tableau server. So this whole page is our publisher dashboard workbook, right? So uh, it's not like each of these represents the workbook. So don't get confused with that. The whole thing constitutes our workbook. And we can see the breakdown. So here we've got our two views, which are our dashboards. We've got a little data source page where we can, uh, you know, edit our connection or extract this and set up a refresh if we wanted to do that. That's in this little data source. We can also edit the workbook if we want. Oop but I actually don't want to do that right now. And we'll come back to our view the dashboard. Okay, very nice. Now, what are a couple of other things that we can do? We can flag this, I mean, uh, star this, add it to our favorites. And we've got the option of adding to uh, collections of dashboards, which is pretty cool. We can change the owner if we're the person who's published it. And now we want to kind of hand over the uh, control or authority to somebody else. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to make sure that your data source doesn't prompt you to log in every single time you view this dashboard. OK, but before I do that, let me just say that if you need any help working with Tableau, why not book an office hour with us? You can book them by the hour and we'd love to help you. Uh, otherwise, come and take a class with us. We've got super cool classes coming up this summer. Everything from mastering Tableau calculations, sets, LODs, parameters to Tableau beginners and advanced courses. And we'd love to have you there. OK, so this is how you make sure you don't have to log in every single time. So it actually has nothing to do with this dashboard right here. What you're going to do is go up to your little account button and go to my account settings. Now, what we want to do is under saved credentials for data sources, I want to go to, in our case, Google Drive, and I'm going to add my login details. And you'll see that the little Google, uh, you know, login interface pops up. And here I just log in, enter my password. And then what happens is Tableau actually saves that information. So you can see I've done it for OneDrive and SharePoint online. And that just makes sure that all those details are in. And so Tab as long as I've got Tableau server or cloud logged in, then I don't need to re-authenticate every single time. And hopefully that's helpful. If you're having issues 
publishing your dashboard, why not pop them in the comments below or reach out to us? I think my email's in the comments. So if you don't want to just spread your data problems or you know uh, that, that might contain some critical information, you're welcome to just email me. I'd be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for joining. Hope this has been helpful. We'll see you soon.